Now let's talk about the extraction of copper. The first step is crushing, breaking into smaller particles and followed by roasting the things and followed by smelting and bessemerization and finally refining. These are the various steps available to extract the copper from copper pyrites. Crushing and concentration. The ore is a crushed to smaller particles. Bigger one is concerned to smaller particles. And it is concentrated by froth flotation process. You are able to see there is a agitation happening here which will create lot of froth. And it is coming out in the presence of air. This step is followed by roasting. In roasting, you are able to see the moisture is removed. The concentrated O is heatly is, is concentrated and heated strongly in a reverberatory furnace in the presence of excess of air. The moisture is removed. The volatile impurities are removed. The other process is roasting, sulphur, phosphorus, arsenic and antimony which are present as impurities are removed as volatile oxides. Sulphur plus oxygen will become sulphur dioxide, phosphorus plus oxygen will give phosphorus pentoxide, arsenic plus oxygen will give arsenic trioxide. So the next process is roasting. So in this roasting process, here the copper pyrite is a partly converted into sulphides of copper and iron. You are able to see it here. So copper pyrite plus oxygen gives copper sulphide and iron sulphide with the sulphur dioxide. And here iron sulphide is the which reacts with oxygen to give iron oxide and sulphur dioxide. The next process is melting. The roasted O is mixed with a powdered coke and sand and it is heated in a blast furnace. It is made of steel plates or lined inside with the fire clay bricks. Hot air at 800 degrees Celsius is introduced from tires near the base of the furnace. As a result, the following changes occur. Iron sulphide with oxygen will become ferrous oxide and sulphur dioxide. And we got the iron sulphide, so iron oxide, which is ferrous oxide, reacts with the silicon dioxide to become a fusible slag. There is a remaining of a copper sulphide which reacts with oxygen become copper oxide and sulfur dioxide and copper oxide reacts with the iron sulfide which is here and become copper sulfide and iron oxide or ferrous oxide and finally the ferrous oxide with the silicon dioxide will become slag so you are able to see the entire iron is gone everything is removed only the copper particle will stay in this process. As a result of smelting, two separate molten layers are formed at the bottom of the sur surface and furnace. You are able to see the slag coming here, the mage is coming here. The upper layer consists of slag and it is removed as a base, while the lower layer is called mage. It chiefly consists of cuprous sulphide and some unchanged ferrous sulphide. You are able to see the copper concentrate here. The molten matter is a transferred to a bessemer converter. The bessemer is mounted on a horizontal axis and is fitted with a small pieces of tires through which a blast of hot air and fine sand is Admitter. You are able to see the waste gas is coming. It is a hot air. 
Any sulfur, arsenic and antimony still present escapes as their respective oxides. Ferrous sulfide present in mate is oxidized to ferrous oxide which combines with silica to form slag. This is a slag creator. Some of the cuprous sulfide undergo oxidation to form cuprous oxide, which then reacts with the more cuprous sulfide to form the copper metal. The impure metal that's contained or obtained is called a blister copper and it is 98% pure. This is about 98% pure. So refining the blister copper contains 2% of impurities and it is finally purified by the electro refining process. So electro refining is a method used to get a metal of high degree of purity. For electro refining of copper, a block of impure metal acts as a cathode anode and a thin plate of pure copper acts as a cathode. The electrolyte is of a copper sulfate solution acidified with the sulfuric acid. When electric current is passed through the electrolytic solution, the pure copper gets deposited on the cathode. And the impurity is settled near the anode in the form of sludge. It's also called as anode mud. Now let's talk about the physical properties. Copper is a reddish brown metal with a high luster and high density and is having a high melting point. It's approximately 1356 degrees Celsius. 